Hey guys, welcome back to another Calamity Quickie. Before we get into this video, a few people have said that this is very Omni and that is correct. I'm a huge fan of Omni. He is one of my favorite creators. And of course, this is heavily, heavily inspired by his videos. I really enjoy them and I wanted to kind of do something on YouTube drama and that kind of thing because I'm really interested in it and I don't really display it on this channel. So I hope you're enjoying this Omni if you're watching. Big ups bro, you are legit one of my favorite creators around right now. So without any further ado, let's get into the tea. Kermi, following on this, did you know about Nairo's side of the story where he's the victim? Yeah, I did hear this statement and it's really messed up. It really makes me wonder how I think about this situation because the idea that the child abused the adult is something that's very, very difficult for me to grasp and concept. I don't want to rub anyone the wrong way by making this statement, but I just, I really don't know how I feel about it. On the one side, it was a sexual act with a child and therefore I'm instantly going to hate Nairo. But if he really was abused by Captain Zack and kind of forced into it, that's, oh, that's twisted, man. A horrible situation. I really hope that these kind of situations aren't going to continue in the Smash community anymore. Mario asks, do you know what happened to Joe? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Kermy says Johnny. Yes, guys, I'm aware of Johnny. I'm aware of the whole thing, but I can't play it on the channel because, I mean, you know why. You know why I can't play it on the channel. But long live Johnny. May the meme last forever. The fish. What do you think of the melee community in general? I have to be honest in the sense that I wasn't really a part of the melee community, and one of the most memorable things for me of the melee community was them shitting on Brawl. I love Brawl. It was so much fun to play Brawl all the time. It was Sonic's first introduction into Smash Bros. And as soon as I got that on Wii, I was playing it non-stop with my little cousins. And it was just the best time. I also loved playing Snake around Brawl and Meta Knight. And yeah, the, the melee people just seemed to hate on us for that. And there are certainly some characters within that scene. Mewtwo King, I actually quite like Mewtwo King. Of course, people like Nero, Hbox, and of course, Leffen, who is quite controversial in the Smash community. I don't know if you saw recently, but he's charging for coaching tutorials now. And actually, I watched Omni's video on it, funnily enough. And um, it seems like he's kind of not really doing that bad of a thing, really, but I don't know the details too well. However, the Melee community has really grown recently and it's nice to see such a classic game still having such a strong and steady fan base. Slippy Mod has of course made that easier, but in terms of present day Melee community, I don't really have many negatives to say about them. The Fish then asks, what do you think of the hate towards Hungrybox? I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I really enjoy Hungrybox's content. I've often said that Zero was the PewDiePie of the Smash Bros YouTube scene and of course, he's, he's not a good boy, so we, we don't like Zero anymore. But I feel Hungrybox has really kind of come in and tried to fill that gap. He makes genuinely entertaining content. I don't know if you saw my subscribe thing from the last Sonic video. Fun enough, that was very much inspired by Hungrybox and some of his ones. They always crack me up, and I really enjoy his content. I know he's had his fair share of controversies, but so has everyone at this point, and I don't know. For who he is now, I, I quite enjoy his content, and I like him as a person. From what I know of him as a person, I only know him as a YouTuber, so I don't really know him, but I like his public perception. Eris, what do you think about Marjorie Taylor's green theory about Jewish space lasers causing the Californian wildfires? It may sound crazy, but Marjorie Taylor Green is like a theorist of some sort, and she actually thinks that, and she's a dumbass. Well, Eris, you're not wrong. Now, I did a tiny bit of reading looking into this question, and this woman just sounds like an anti-Semitic douchebag. What? Why Jewish space lasers creating the Californian wildfires? What are you smoking? And can I get some, please? All right, that's it for today's Clammy Quickie. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Slap a like on it. And of course, hit that subscribe button. If you have anything you want me to talk about in the next Calamity Quickie, leave it in the comments of this video and I'll try and get it covered. As I said at the start of the video, this is my way of kind of covering YouTube drama and things of that nature that I have a real interest in, but never really found the place for on a Sonic the Hedgehog channel. But as my viewership is growing and new people are coming in all the time, I figured why not branch out into some different avenues and see what people enjoy. So thank you once again for watching. Honestly, it means the world to me. I'll see you next time. Lots of love.
Bye, guys.